Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. I am here today with a hair related video. It has been a very long time since I have done anything that has to do with hair. A lot of the times you guys ask me for that in the comments down below. And I thought today I would do a video on my favorite hair tools and my favorite hair products. All these products and tools I'm gonna mention for you guys today, I have used already for a very, very long time, and I love them. I'm also thinking about maybe doing some hair tutorials for you guys. Let me know what hair tutorials you guys would like to see. Do you wanna see how I do my curls? I can do videos on how to curl with a flat iron, with the wand, um, or even just like my daily hair routine or anything hair related. Let me know what type of tutorial you guys would like to see. But as for today, I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite tools and my favorite products. So we better get started with this video as always. Everything I mentioned will be listed in the description box down below. First, with the hair tools, and I just wanna say that I think hair tools are a very good investment. I do like to buy very good quality hair tools. It is something that I like to splurge on, even though I do have one that is not as expensive and it's just so amazing, which I will talk to you guys in a second about it. But as far as a hair dryer and a flat iron, I do like to get really good quality products for the hair also because you also wanna protect your hair. So you definitely do not wanna just get any type of product or dryer. You do want to be able to protect your hair from all these heating products, which are so damaging, especially for me. I get highlights all the time. They're blonde. Your hair does take a toll from highlights and any type of chemically treated products do affect your hair. So you do have to be very careful with it. And with that being said, that is why I feel like I do like to really splurge on very good tools. Not just buy a tool because it's expensive, but buy a good tool because it's good quality and it's gonna protect your hair in the long run. I feel like it's those type of things that if you maybe spend a little bit more to get something a little bit better in the long run, you're gonna spend less because your hair is gonna be a lot safer, it's not gonna break off, you're not gonna have all these issues that are probably gonna cost you more money in the future to take care of. So first, I do wanna start off with the hair tools. And the very first one that I do wanna mention is one that is very popular but also very, very pricey, and that is the Dyson Hair Dryer. I have already had this dryer for a very long time. I have the one that is the gray with like the fuchsia hot pink, and it is a really good hair dryer. It does come with attachments. I haven't really used any of the other attachments. I only use this one. This is pretty much the one that I use on a daily basis. I also like the size. It is not too big. It is a very cool dryer and it does dry your hair fast. It is pricey, and maybe if you would have asked me the first year I bought it, I would have said, you do not need to splurge. Other dryers last a long time. Other dryers are very good. I've had dryers that have lasted me for years, but in the past years before I got the Dyson, my hair dryers that I would probably spend like $100, $110 on would pretty much die after a year. So then after I had this one for a year and I used it up, well, I didn't use it up because it's still here. After I had this one for a year, I was like, okay, maybe it is worth it because it hasn't died on me. And yes, it's still more expensive, but I feel like it has lasted longer than other dryers that I have also splurged on because $100 is still a lot to spend on a dryer. And yes, this is more. I got it during a Sephora sale, so it's always good to pick these up during a good sale when you have a nice little discount. But I also do feel that it does protect your hair against the heat. It's not as noisy. It does dry your hair fairly quickly. I wouldn't say that it's a huge difference in quickness. It's not like I was taking an hour and it cut half hour off my drying routine. No, it may cut off like five to eight minutes and that's pretty much it because my hair still takes a long time to dry. I have a lot of hair and I still do take a lot of time to dry my hair. Even if I dry it like when I'm kind of like going a little crazy, I still take like 15 minutes just to make sure that it is like fully dry. And maybe with other dryers, it would take me like 20, 22 minutes, 23 minutes. So it's not like it's like cutting my time in half, but it does cut the time in half, but I feel like the main aspect of why I do think it is a good dryer to splurge on if you're looking for something really, really nice. Of course, if you have hair like mine, if you have like long hair that is chemically treated, that you really want to, you know, take care of it. But if you have hair like, 
you know, like my brother's hair, it's like short, quick. He literally just does this for two seconds and he's done. You know, I mean, I don't think you have to splurge like that. I'm saying if you have hair like mine that you do want to take care of, that is long, that takes a long time. I think the main factor for buying this dryer is that it does last a long time. It is good quality, but it does protect your hair from the heat and it does dry because it just blows so much air. I do feel that I'm not putting so much heat in the hair as other dryers. So this is a great product. This is my go-to hair dryer. Check it out if you've had your mind on it. I definitely think out of all the Dyson products, if you're gonna splurge on one, splurge on the dryer. I don't foresee me buying any of the other products. The curl one that the hair like curls into the thing you know um i know that they have an iron now like a flat iron i think if you're gonna do it do it with the dryer that's probably the one that i think is like the best one for your money for hair curls my go-to curling product is a wand this is the wand that i use this is from the brand new me i have had already this wand for many many years it is part of the octa wand it is the octa wand the Octa One is a really great set that comes like this. To be honest with you, I do not think you need to get the Octa One. I mean, I don't think I have used, I probably have used these two a little bit more, but I don't think I've used any of the other ones. It does come with a glove. I really do recommend you use a glove so you don't burn your fingers off when you use a wand. But once you start using a wand, you really don't go back. Like I think today I did my hair with the wand. I think it's the one that achieves the best type of curls, but I really just use this one. This is the one inch one. So if you can get yourself one, it's gonna be a lot cheaper if you just get a single one instead of getting the whole octo one, unless you like to have different sizes. If you do, then this is a good deal. I remember I got it for a really big discount, but I got it a long time ago. It's been already probably more than three years and I love it. It's a really great product and you just get used to it. And it's very cool how you can pretty much switch the wands and put whichever one you want. But like I said, for me, I really, you know, like if this were to break, I probably would not get another octo wand. I would just get one like this because this is the one that I pretty much use all the time. I don't like it to be too, such a big barrel. I mean, it just, does depend on the curls but I tend to like my curls to be a little bit more closed and a little bit more tight because I feel that it lasts a long time and and that's what I like if I do them too loose I feel like it's not gonna last really like if I'm going out like to a wedding or to a party it's not gonna last throughout the night and this lasts for like days so I do like to use this and I think the Numi wand is amazing I highly recommend it it's one of my favorite hair tools I think a flat iron is also something very important to have in your tools for your hair. I feel like the flat iron is what I probably use the most. I tend to use, I tend to keep my hair straight the majority of the time. And when I do want it to be nice and sleek, I do use a flat iron. This is the HAI Beauty Concepts flat iron. This one I got on Amazon. I can go ahead and link it down below. It has like the blue plates. This is a second iron from this brand that I got. For a while I was using the FHI. I loved it, but I found that although they were pricey, they lacked it about a year to a year and a half and then the life of the iron just like died or the plate fell off I also bought the Numi I'm never gonna get ever a Numi flat iron I had a bad experience with that one I had a Numi flat iron the plate just kind of like fell like it just kind of like split a little bit from the base and I accidentally when I was I didn't notice and I put my hair in it and I completely burned it like it was like shh, you know like it was really really bad um, the iron plate just broke off so I did not want to get that one again and then since I had had this one in the past years ago I can't even imagine when I had it I went ahead and I bought it again because I remember it had lasted me a long time and so far I've had it already for over a year over a year and a half and it's still going strong I also like to have this size this like one inch size I don't like it too much bigger this is also very good for not only straightening your hair but I also use it to curl my hair for curling it's much quicker than with a wand the curls are a little bit more sloppier they're not such pretty coils if I'm doing if I want to wear my hair curly and I'm going for something more casual or like just going out with my friends, I'll tend to do it with the iron. But if I want to get really fancy or like go to a wedding or go to something that I want my curls to be on point and to last all night, I'd rather do it with the Numi wand. So um, this is also a really, really good one. Lasts a long time, very good quality, goes very, very smooth. I like those 
irons that you know they go down very smooth in the hair and that you're not like constantly getting stuck i don't like them when they have the little teeth sometimes i just like them like this this next tool is amazing it is super popular it is all over the place and this is like an amazing tool that i bought the most recently and it is from revlon and i'm sure you guys recognize it the name is long so i'm gonna read it it is called the one step hair dryer and volumizer hot air brush i got it in the color mint this one you can get at Ulta, you can get it on Amazon. It's normally $50. I remember when I got it on Amazon, I got it. No, I got it at Ulta. I got it for like $39 because I had a really good coupon. This is amazing. It is such like a strong blow dryer. It is a blow dryer. The air that comes out is very powerful. It is very hot. I feel like it's not something that I like to use on a daily basis. I rather dry my hair. Like if I'm just drying my hair and not doing much with it, I'll just use my Dyson and just like dry it and just like run my fingers through it and just leave it. That's just my, my regular, normal, straight hair type of thing. My hair just ends up pretty straight just if I brush it out with my fingers. If I want it to be really nice, I'll dry it a little bit with the Dyson and then I'll go in with this one to get that nice sleek blowout because it and does get very hot and sometimes I get the impression that I'm like gonna burn my hair. So I do use this maybe more for like special occasions when I want that extra salon blowout type of look. As for hair tools, I do keep it simple. I don't really have all that many hair tools. There's just a few things that I use and I love the Olivia Garden brushes. They sell them at Ulta. I don't know the exact brushes, like the exact names of these brushes, but I'm gonna look for them on Ulta.com and if they're there, I'm gonna link them down below if I can, if I find them. But this is the paddle type of brush that I like to use. It just has the synthetic bristles and it's just very, very good. For like when you get out of the shower and your hair is wet, I do brush my hair with this. And this is also the brush that I use when I just wanna brush my hair out when it is dry. It is pretty much the only brush that I use just for any type of regular brushing use. Then while I am drying my hair, or like if I'm drying the front or whatever, I do use round brushes. Mainly I use them basically in the front and if I just want like a really nice blowout. These are also from the brand Olivia Garden. I'm sorry, they do have some little hairs on there. But these are also from Olivia Garden. This is the Nano Thermic Brush. They are two, they're ceramic and ion. And I like them. They're just different sizes. I don't really know the exact size. I'm gonna look it up like I said on Ulta and put it down below. I do feel like I need to buy a smaller one, a little bit smaller, because sometimes you get like a little wave or something close to the scalp and these are a little bit too big to like get it out. And then in the shower, I use the Tangle Teaser. This, I believe you can get it on Amazon. This is what I use when my hair has conditioner in the shower. I pretty much apply conditioner, I put my hair up in a clip, I let it sit as I like start washing my body or I start doing something else, I'll use scrubs. And then when I have the mask on my hair and the conditioner, which usually I'll always use like a deep conditioner, I don't really use a basic normal conditioner, um, then I will go in with this. So by the time I get out of the shower and I towel dry my hair, when I use the Olive and Garden brush, it's just like a regular, you know, it just smooths out the hair really easily and I really don't have any type of knots. My hair doesn't really get all that knotty i don't really have to deal with that it just really detangles really easily as for hair products i'm going to start off with my favorite shampoos these are not going to be a surprise to you guys because i always mention them they're always in my empties the first one is the avita shampoo shampoo this is the nurturing shampoo calming aroma i just love the scent it's true but it's a very good shampoo i feel it's lightweight it frothy it gets really frothy and like you can really like you know bubble it up into your hair i love being able to like bubble it up into my hair and make it really foamy. I know a lot of those shampoos that are sulfate free don't get very foamy, but I like that and it's something that I do look for in a shampoo. And I always do two shampoos and the Avita is like one of my favorite ones. They have another one that I used to love from Avita that was sold out and I saw the other day, not sold out, I feel like it was discontinued for a while, but it came back and it's like the scalp therapy balancing shampoo. So I actually went on the Avita website last night and I bought that one. That one I used to love as well. So I'm excited for that one to come back. I haven't used that one in a while. From Lush, the Rehab Shampoo is amazing. This is another one of my favorites. This is one that I always have in my collection. It is so good. It has seaweed and scalp toning oils. It is a very good shampoo. It smells super good. It smells a little bit minty 
and I love it. I would say these are definitely my two go-to shampoos and I always have these in my shower. A couple times a week, I also use the Briojo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. This is a really good one. It's not like the common type of shampoo that I use on a daily basis, but I do like it. It looks like a gray mud like this. Again, it smells so good and minty and it's like invigorating for your scalp. It also, I always do this on the second shampoo. It also does get nice and frothy and you do feel like it, like it works. I feel like a lot of the times some scrub type shampoos, you can't smooth it around your whole hair. Like you can't, it just kind of like gets stuck in one place. It just doesn't, you know, glide on everywhere. And this does, it has like these little exfoliating beads that move around. It's almost like you're scrubbing your scalp, but you do feel it's cleaning it like a shampoo, not just like a scrub that just like stays stuck there. And that's been my experience with a lot of scrubs. I've purchased this a million times and I really, really love it. So I highly recommend it. I also have the conditioner. I like it. I've used it on my scalp. It does feel good. It tingles, but it's not something that I'm like super excited about. And I'm not even going to include it in this video because it's not exactly like a favorite. It's nice. But I think like if I run out of it, I probably would not repurchase it. Whereas this one I buy over and over again. Another shampoo that is pretty good that I don't really use all that often, but it's good for blondes is the John Frieda, the Sheer Blonde Color Renewed Tone Correcting Shampoo. This I do like to use every once in a while. It's a very good one. It's inexpensive from the drugstore. John Frieda does a very good job with blonde hair type of products and I like it. This is a purple shampoo. It feels good. I do use it. It does help out with removing any brassiness since I do get high, my hair highlighted quite often. I do it probably two to three months. I do like to like take care of the highlights and the tone just to make sure that they don't get brassy or orangey or anything like that which really doesn't really happen with me all that much and just prevent it and that is why I like to use this. go-to hair conditioner is from Amazon, I get it on Amazon. It is called Silicon Mix. This is a hair treatment mask. I buy this huge tub because this is pretty much like the one that I use the most. This is 60 ounces. It is very inexpensive. It smells so good. It's like one of those conditioners that everybody's like, oh my God, I love the way your hair smells. Your hair smells so good. It's very good for the hair. It's very thick and rich. I love how it detangles. It's so easy. And I just feel like my hair stays very healthy with using this product. I love it and it's pretty much like one of the only conditioners that I really gravitate for. They actually have another one in the line that is the Silicon Mix Bamboo. This one is white, the one that I just showed you, and this one is more of like a yellowy color. This one I'm pretty much running out of. Again, this one smells really, really good as well. This one is actually for brittle and dull hair. And I used it and I love it. I used it up, but I couldn't wait to get rid of it. So I couldn't get back and using this one. This one, I never tire of it, but I did kind of tire of this one. This one smells really good. Not as good as this one. If you don't like hair to smell too much, like if that perfume type of thing bugs you, then get this one because the scent is a lot lighter. It doesn't linger in the hair as much as as this one, but don't get me wrong, like this one is the one I love. This is my go-to one. And like I said, it's not expensive. It's like a huge tub for a very decent, decent price. I feel like the little one is like probably like $7.99, $8. Check it out on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it down below. Silicon Mix, by the way, also has a shampoo. This is a hydrating shampoo for dry, damaged hair. It is a very good shampoo. It is a little thick. That it's a little too thick that I can't seem to get it out from the regular, you know, where it's supposed to come out of. So whenever I use it, I pretty much just take the cap off and just squish it out into my hand. It feels good. It's very hydrating. Not my go-to type of shampoo, but I bought it just to give it another shot the first time. I feel like I just got frustrated with the bottle, but I do like the way it smells and it does clean your hair well. So it's also, if you like something that's very hydrating, if your hair is very dry, you can definitely try this one. I feel like it's maybe a little bit too hydrating to use all the time. I notice it like when I style my hair, it's a little bit more heavy than with the other ones, whereas the Avita and the Rehab are like perfect. But once in a while, I do like to use it. Other conditioners, just to give you more options that I also use every once in a while and I think are very good, are the Amica. This is the Cure. This is the Intense Repair Mask. This is my second bottle that I purchased of this one. It smells so good as well. It doesn't linger in the hair as much, 
but it is a very good mask if I feel my hair is like needs major repair. And just sometimes you do want to change it up. I do want to switch up from the silicone mix. I'll use this one. It's a very thick mask for your ends. I like it better than some Kerastase mask that I have used and it's less expensive. Also another one that I like, which I just bought a new one. I hadn't used this one in a while. is from the brand Revlon and this is called the Unique One Super 10 Hair Mask. And it looks like this. I've shared this one before in the past. I just haven't had it for a while, but I did go ahead and get it on Amazon. Again, it is a very, oh, it smells so good. I am like, you can really get me with good scents. Let me tell you, when it comes to like hair, certain makeup, skincare, if something has a good scent, you can definitely like catch my attention. This also smells really, really good. It's a really great hair mask. I highly recommend it. You can get it on Amazon. So if you want to try different things, these are the ones that I like the most and the ones that I use. I do not use regular conditioner. I just don't. I always, every time I shampoo my hair, which I tend to wash my hair every three days, every two to three days, I don't use regular conditioner. I always just go with a deep conditioning mask every single time that I wash my hair. So once I get out of the shower, the very first thing that I do is use a leave-in conditioner. And my go-to one is definitely the Way leave-in conditioner. It's a very good one. I just bought a brand new one at the Sephora sale. It is so good. Again, it smells so good. Very great for also detangling your hair when you get out of the shower. Also from that same Revlon brand of the deep conditioner I showed you, they have the hair treatment, which looks like this. This you can also use as a leave-in conditioner. It also has a lot more benefits than just that. It even protects, I believe, from the heat. So it's a very, very good product. You can also get it on Amazon. I'll make sure to link to it down below. And then the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is also a very good leave-in conditioner. Great smell. It just, it's very, very good for the hair and it's nice. It detangles, it shines, it protects hair. Also from the heat, from breakage, and just has a bunch of different qualities. But these are all very, very good leave-in conditioners. Either one of these that you go with are all very good. I also recently began using this Moroccan oil. This is a protect and prevent spray. This is for color treated hair. It prevents color fade, UV, and pollution protection. And I have been spritzing this in my hair. It smells so good, the Moroccan oil scent is one that I actually really, really love. But I just started using it, I'm happy with it, but like I said, I'm just like right here, so I can't really tell you if it's really, you know, working that great. But um, it is also something very good that I have been enjoying. From John Frieda, another product that is very good, this is more for blondes, is the John Frieda Go Blonder Lightning Spray. Now that we were quarantined, I was like, we're not going to be able to get highlights. We're not going to be able to do anything. And I put this in my roots and it just kind of feels like it extends your highlights a little bit longer and you really can't tell all that much. It's not like a crappy blonde, you know, it doesn't make you blonder. Remember back in the day, like the sun, that was terrible. You would put that in the sun and you would come out with like orange hair. This does not do this. I usually just apply it to my roots, only in the root area, I rub it in, and then you just style your hair normally. You just make sure to add a lot more heat, like you, you're drier on your roots. And then you notice a very gradual change. So if you have dark roots, this can help you. I would test it out in a section first, just in case, but I have used this already for a while. I don't use it very often. I feel like the last time I used it was maybe like a year and a half ago. I used it now that we were in quarantine that I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get my highlights done. It is a very good product. It's very good and it works really great for my blonde natural tone. My hair is very, very light and it doesn't make it a crazy color. I don't know how it would be if you have maybe darker hair. I never really dye my roots. I only do highlights on my actual base. So I don't have that many different colors. So sometimes, you know, I feel like if you do maybe, like if you dye your hair and you do your highlights, that's already two new colors that you're introducing. And then if you add this, it might be a third color. Whereas for me, it's just basically a little bit of this into my natural hair base. And it just lightens it just a little bit, just to make the highlights blend a little bit in. But then when it grows out, you can't even tell that you even had to put anything in your hair. My current go-to heat protectant spray is this 44 Iron Guard from Kai. I really, really love this brand for the heat protectant spray. I used to use a lot of the Tresemme from the drugstore, but I kind of already got over it and I switched to this one. This is currently the only one that I am using and I really, really love it. I actually just repurchased this. And then I went ahead and I ventured for the Iron Guard Style and Stay Firm Hold Protecting Hairspray. Love it, very good hairspray. I use it today, 
for my curls. So it's also another really good product that I have been using and loving. I love the L'Oreal Elm Net Hairspray. I don't have that to share with you guys today. I buy the unscented one, which still has a scent. It's not really unscented. That does smell really strong. This one actually does not have a scent, which I like. It's not such a strong hairspray smell. But the L'Oreal the L'Oreal Elmet is a very good hairspray. It's been one of my go-tos forever. But they had like, you know, this brand had a buy one, get the second or third one at a half off or something. So when I bought my heat protectant, I tried the hairspray and I actually loved it. So definitely would be purchased very good hairspray. It doesn't leave your hair hard or crunchy, but I do feel that it's holding the curl. My go-to dry shampoo, I have two. I have a high-end one and I have one from the drugstore. I only have the drugstore one to share with you guys today, but the Dove, dry shampoo is very very good this is a volume and fullness dry shampoo dove refresh and care very great price great product it doesn't leave anything flaky it goes on super natural the scent is pretty good it doesn't tire you my high end favorite dry shampoo is the one from living proof it's a really good dry shampoo it's my favorite another high end one that i got one time that i loved was orbe one called like gold something that one was so good and i want to repurchase it again it was probably like the best dry shampoo i've ever used but it's a pricey one so i haven't really gone you know to purchase it and they don't sell it at sephora so the living proof is pretty much the one that i gravitate for at sephora it's easy access and then at the drugstore is dove so those are pretty much my two go-to dry shampoo and the last type of products that i love to apply on my hair are hair oils my go-to number one favorite is the alpha parf from semi delino diamond cristalli liquidi this is an amazing oil it smells so good oh, i love to use this mainly when i finish doing my hair, my blowout or ironing it. I put a couple pumps of it onto my hands and I just put it on the ends. Mainly I focus on the ends. I feel like it makes your ends look so nice. It seals them. It just looks nice and healthy. I think it's so good for your hair. And sometimes whatever I have left over on my hands, I do put it on my, you know, basically on the hair like that goes around my face just for any flyaways. I tend not to like to put a lot of products in this area because I feel like it weighs my hair down, but I do focus a lot of it on the ends this I get on Amazon it is the best I have been using it for many many years and I love it so much they just changed the packaging but it's still just as good it has that scent and it just works wonders on your hair and this has been one in my hair routine for years and then the other oil that I like of course is a Moroccan oil the treatment this one I like it's been years since I even had to buy this in the actual regular size because I have gotten so many free samples in this size and this goes a long way because you don't really use all that much. So I still have like two or three left of these. So definitely going to be using these up. Would I buy it if I ran out of it? Yes, I would definitely pay the money to get this one. But if I had to pick between the Moroccan oil and the Alpha Park Semi Delino, I would definitely go with the Semi Delino. This is for me, is my number one hair oil. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my favorite products and my favorite hair tools. Like I said, I'm gonna make sure to try to link as many things as I can down below. Everything will definitely be listed, but if I can find the brushes from Ulta, and all those other products that I mentioned, I will definitely link to where it was exactly that I bought them. Also like the Amazon conditioner and the Semi Delino oil, because all these products that I mentioned are products that I have been using for a really, really long time, and they really work great on my hair. So if you're looking for some hair products, I really hope that you found this video very, very helpful. As always, I wanna say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Let me know what other videos you guys want coming your way in the comments down below. Stay safe, stay positive. I can't wait to see you guys again and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.